Connecticut State Police have released a new report on the response to the Sandy Hook tragedy more than five years ago after that horrific day. And the report shares the lessons learned and offers some recommendations to improve response and rescue capabilities in communities all around the country. News 8's George Colley joins us now live from News 8 Control tonight with a look inside that report. Well, good George. Evening. Good evening, Ann and Ann. This is the 74-page after-action report critiquing the state police response to the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting. It concludes the police response was, quote, handled effectively. The report is more than five years in the making. It provides recommendations in 12 areas. Some of the recommendations include revisiting body armor policies for all responding police officers and making sure the vest distributed will protect police from the types of bullets used in events like this. It also recommends more long-term mental health and wellness services to help law enforcement that respond to traumatic events. The report also emphasizes the need for accurate and timely death notifications to victims' families. It states that the delay in notifying the parents stationed at the firehouse was a, quote, great source of frustration for the police and created confusion and stress for the family members. It also recommends continuing to develop the family liaison program that helped keep family members informed of information relevant to the investigation before it was reported to the media. The report also says that local, state, and federal agencies should do more training for active shootings together and have pre-planned staging areas and identify high target locations in their towns. Now this report also says that crime scenes need to be better secured because civilians were allowed to enter the school in the hours following the incident. This report, as you had said, will be reviewed by law enforcement all across the country to help those agencies better prepare and respond to tragedies such as this. Coming up at 6, my colleague Bob Wilson will have more reaction and more on this report when he talks to former state police spokesperson and retired lieutenant Paul Vance. George Colley, News 8.